Okay, so in this brief video, I'm going to talk about the Packages tab of the Dream Factory Admin Console. So packages are the way that you can get applications in and out of different instances of Dream Factory. So a classic example is that you're developing locally. For example, I'm working locally on localhost here, and I'm not going to obviously run my applications in production on my local machine. I'll need to deploy them to a production instance of Dream Factory. So an easy way to get your applications out and export them as a file, which you can then import, is to go to Packages and then pick the application, for example, the address book in this example. Include the application files if it is a web application. So in this case, I actually would leave this unchecked because it's just a essentially an API key. The application resides on the device. But if it's a web app, an Angular app, or JavaScript app, or whatever it is that's running on the server, you'll want to include the application files, and those will get packaged up. You also need to select the schema that you want to export. So if you have a database here that holds all of the backend data for your app, you will check the record, or sorry, the tables that you need and do that uh, here. So check the ones that you need. It could be all of them, it could be some of them. And then lastly, you will need to select the services. So services are your APIs. So if this is the uh, DB API, for example, these are the APIs upon which your address book application in this example depends. So you'll just pick those three things, app, schema, services, and click the export button. And what that will do is it will create a file, it's an executable file, uh, .dfpkg onto your desktop. And then you can go into your production instance of Dream Factory or your QA or wherever the other instance is and go into the apps tab of that particular instance. You'll go then to import and then simply click this browse button and you will be able to get the app package that you've downloaded locally onto your machine. And then you can decide whether you want to run that in the file system, if it's a web app or S3 or wherever the file system is, that's optional, as well as a storage folder. So that's really all there is to it. This is a easy way to move applications across dev test and production. You should also be aware of our enterprise product, which makes this process a lot easier for real production deployments, the ability to clone instances seamlessly uh, even from the command line fits really well into your DevOps process, but this is an easy way to, to do that just with the open source product between different instances, dev, test, and production. Again, use the packages tab for that particular use case. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, check out our other screencasts on YouTube. We cover all of these other areas as well, and we provide some additional tutorials there. Also check out wiki.dreamfactory.com for documentation on Dream Factory. And lastly, if you have questions, you can check out community.dreamfactory.com as well. Hope this is helpful. Thanks.